Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And today's topic is understanding if zero then set. And also another topic, data step stopped due to looping. The reason why I'm presenting these two topics together is they are related. And also data step stopped due to looping can happen in another scenarios also. To understand this title, it is very important to understand how data step works. And now let's look into how data step works. And in here, I'm not going to go in very detail, but I will touch base at a very high level. Data step works in two phases. The first one is compilation phase and the second phase is execution phase. And in the compilation phase, the variable attributes are set and a PDV is created. During execution phase, data is loaded by each iteration into PDV and then into data set. So we have an example in here. And for this topic, I will be just discussing a little bit more on execution phase and I will be explaining what iteration is. I have made a very detailed video on what iteration is and link for the same I will give you the description below. But let us quickly run this data step. Before running this data step, I would like to show you something in here or explain something in here. Here I have three data lines and also I have an input statement in which I am mentioning two variables, ID and SBP. And also another important point to see in here is, I have two put statements, one before input statement, another after input statement. And in here, I am also adding text before reading, that is in front of input statement, after reading, after input statement, and in both of them, I have underscore all underscore. Underscore all underscore gives us information about all the variables. And what this put statement does is, put statement puts this text and also all the variables in the log. Now let me explain you why did I have put statement two times in here. This helps us to explain how data step works and then before reading of the data, that is before the input statement and also what happens after reading the data, what really happens into the PDV. Now let us quickly run this code and look into our log. Once we look into our log, we see something like this, wherein we have four variables the first one is ID, second one is SBP and two other variables, these are automatic and temporary variables. They are there during the process of data step processing only and they are not added to data set. And in here, underscore error underscore indicates that whether there is an error or not. So it has a value of zero or one. 0 indicates that there is no error, 1 indicates that there is an error in reading the data or something of that sort. And then I have underscore and underscore. And this tells us that how many times our data step has iterated. Here let us focus on first two rows which are in here and both of them have value of underscore and underscore equal to one. Now let's get back to our code and let's try to explain this through the code in here. So as I said to you, PDV is already created during the compilation phase. Before this input statement, what will happen is we will not have any values for ID and SBP. That means they will be missing because no data has been read yet. After the input statement, 
in which we have this variable id and sbp what it will do is it will read this particular observation and this put statement puts into the log so our first iteration we started with all the variables values with missing and then we have read the values and now what will happen is this observation which is in pdv will be written to data 1 which is mentioned in here and this completes our iteration and the same thing happens with second observation and also third observation wherein we will have underscore and underscore equal to 2 in the beginning of second iteration the values will be missing and then once input statement is done the values are read and it is written to the data set and the same happens with third iteration also that is all the values go to missing data is read and then is written to this data set now what happens is it tries to go into fourth iteration and it finds end of the file marker so it no longer goes into fourth iteration so here the important point to understand is iterations happen all the time in a data step wherein it works like a loop and we call this as data step implied loop wherein one row after another row one row after another row is read and is written to data set now there are very many differences when you read the data from a set statement when compared to input statement but for now what i want you to understand is how data step works how it works like a loop reading one row after another after another till all the rows are read and that is the important point and also the most important point is once all the rows are read it understand that there is no more data to be read because of presence of end of file marker and then this loop stops now let us go a little bit deeper into our discussion now here i have another data step wherein i am saying data test and i don't have any variables created in here and i have a run statement in here let us quickly try to run this and see our log and let's quickly look into our log and what it says to us the log says that the data set work.test has one observations and zero variables the important point to remember here is it has one observation what does this mean is data step at least runs once with this background we can get into this topic now here i have my data step and in here i am saying if zero then sets has help dot class what does if zero means zero means false i am saying if zero then sets has help dot class means this condition never executes which means you need to again try to understand in the context of data step phases in the first phase where in the compilation phase what happens is all the variable attributes are copied but during execution phase data is not captured because this condition is not true this never executes and data never gets populated so only the compilation phase works for us and in here other important point to remember i also have a stop statement in here i will explain what stop statement does here in a minute but let us quickly run this code and see what happens in here once we run our code we see that we have created structure similar to sas help dot class but we do not have any observations in it so this kind of code will help us to 
create structure similar to the data set we want without any data. Now let us also quickly look into the log. The log is also clean wherein the note we have here is data set work dot class has zero observations and five variables. Now let us go back to code and let's try to remove the stop and try to see our results and also our log. In this way we can try to understand what stop statement exactly does in here. Now I am running this code and now let's look into our log. Here you will see that there is one row but again this row is not populated. And also if you see in the log it says a data step stopped due to looping. So what has happened in here is because this step never ran during execution phase what has happened in here is there is no end of file marker. This is what I have explained in here. Once the data step sees end of the file marker then only it stops. And also we explained that this is kind of implicit loop and then it runs till end of the file marker is achieved. Now here I also told you one another point is data step at least runs once. So even though it has not taken any records from here what will happen is it will run once and it will not populate any data. And also we see this message that data step stopped due to looping. As this statement was not true there is a problem that it can go into infinite loop because there is no end of the file marker. And also what data step does is it stops the loop after one iteration that is why we have one observation in here without any data. To avoid this what we can simply do is we can add a stop statement in here. What stop statement does in here is once this condition is false and there is nothing to execute it immediately stops the data step without going into any loop and then data step itself trying to stop wherein we saw the message that data step stopped due to looping. When we see data step stopped due to looping the data step understood that there is something wrong and it cannot go into infinite loop. So instead of all those things happening we explicitly give stop which immediately stops the this data step execution. That's all for this topic. If you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe and thank you.